Hello everyone. I'm sorry it's been such a long time since I've made any videos on this channel. I have another channel and I have a baby. So I just was so busy. I'm really happy to be back. I'm really excited with everything that's been going on in the news and stuff. It's just really motivating. I live in Canada and all you guys know what's going on, I'm sure. And it's just so refreshing and so inspirational. And I am so proud to be Canadian. And I really haven't been for like ever since this pandemic started. Like I was actually really embarrassed to be Canadian, but I'm not anymore. But today I wanted to talk about the history of Lemuria and how it's actually quite similar to what's happening today. And it's actually kind of freaky. Like this story is freaky as hell. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've had a lot of synchronicities with this story. So that's why I wanted to share it on this channel. So Lemuria is an ancient society that existed during the time of Atlantis. And both these societies existed at the same time. Um, from what I understand, Atlantis is sort of like the child society of Lemuria. It was the Lemurians that birthed Atlantis. And um, Atlantis comes from the children of the Lemurians. They created Atlantis. So in general, they say that Lemuria is very strong feminine energy. And Atlantis is very strong male forward energy. That was the energies of these societies. And they split up. I learned this story um, on Gaia. So for those of you that want to know like the entire, all the details, um, get Gaia. And I will put the, the name of the show in the description so that you can just study it for yourself. Okay. This is taken from a past life hip hypnosis of someone who had a past life in, I believe, Atlantis as well as Lemuria. Atlantis was, I think, at the height or at the pinnacle of its technological advancement or whatever you want to call it its empire it was at the peak it was just before the collapse and they were pretty corrupt at this point pretty imbalanced in terms of their energy let's just put it that way and there was a very bad plague that happened this plague was legit okay people were actually dying from it and it was so bad that there were so many dead bodies that they burned them that there was a permanent um, smoke bubble around the city of Atlantis. That is how bad this plague was. So Atlantis was very desperate for a cure to this plague. So they went to Lemuria and Lemuria did not have disease. Okay. And that's because they knew how to work with these special red crystals that um, basically gave someone immortality. And there was no disease in Lemuria because they knew how to work with the energy of these red crystals. So the Atlanteans um, came to Lemuria and I think they were just trying to be friends with them. I'm not sure, but they were really, what they were really after was the knowledge for how to use these crystals so that they could cure the plague that was going on over there. The Lemurians, they, I guess they were wary of giving this power to the Atlanteans because they were pretty corrupt at that point. They um, basically just would not give them the knowledge of how to use these crystals. So I think they got mad. And then all of a sudden, Lemuria uh, got destroyed by a tsunami. So I don't know if Atlantis caused that on purpose or it was a natural disaster or what. But this was shortly before the collapse and fall of Lemuria is all this went on. So Atlantis, okay, so Lemuria is gone. And then now Atlantis still has this problem with their plague. So they created, uh-huh, just like this, just like this society, okay? This is what's so freaky. I don't wanna say it because I don't want my video to be censored. Like that's how bad it is now. But they created the Pokey Poke for their plague, okay? Everybody jumped on board, they got it, and it seemed to work at first. Everything was great, they were cured, but then, when they started having children, the children of the people who got this had crazy birth defects and their children were coming out looking like animalistic, looking like half animal, half human or whatever, like a mixture of different animals. So, I mean, that was a side effect of it. And so all of a sudden the Atlanteans had this entire new generation of these 
sort of like mutated humans. They didn't know what to do with this new generation because they could not assimilate into society very well. They had behavioral issues and they just could not function in Atlantean society. I don't know if it was because they were violent or what the problem was, but they just could not assimilate in society and they didn't know what to do with them. So they created this program where they took all the, the, the mutated children and they told the society that they were gonna bring them to like an island or somewhere where they would be happy and you know live out their life there. This was told from a woman who had a past life in Atlanta. She was a judge who would decide uh, what would happen with these children. She, she made all these like important judgments for the cases of these children. So that's what they told society, but this is so disturbing. Literally what they did is they killed them. They exterminated them and just lied to the Atlanteans and said that they put them like on some island when really they just massacred and killed them. That is itself a freaky story like Okay, so I was like, yeah, that story's scary. And so if you have an unexplained fear of the things that have been going on, that could be because you have past lives in Lemuria or in Atlantis and you've already lived this, okay, with bad, bad consequences. I'm not saying it's going to happen this time around. I'm just saying it explains why you might have this deep-seated fear, okay, about what is happening in these days. I did. I, I just couldn't explain why. I had a very, like, gut feeling and it was a bad feeling. So maybe that's why I just have um, traumas that I have not processed in past lives from that time. Okay, so this is where it gets even more weird. These are some really weird synchronicities. So I heard that story and then I was listening to a lecture from an astrologer and she was talking about the prophecies of Rudolf Steiner. He's a really famous prophet who, he wrote like all these books about what's gonna happen in the future with our society. And one of his visions, cause he would like see the future and write it in a book is that humans would split and one side would choose nature and natural and the other side would choose like the technocratic takeover right like the smart cities and all that so there are two paths that will be parallel but eventually they'll be so different um vibrationally that you actually won't be able to go between the two eventually but anyways the split will take place and one side the humans who choose like the more nature, they reject this new centralized system. They will actually start to look more angelic. So their features will actually change as the generations go on. The other side, he said that they would look more animalistic. They would resemble animals more because their nature would become more animalistic, more fear-based, more like fight or flight. So that kind of, I was like, oh, that's really strange parallel, right? With the Atlantis Lemuria thing. And then this is even more freaky. There is a, I think it's a Nicki Minaj music video. And it says like 2024. And it's all these people that look like half animal. Like, tell me if you know what music video that is. I'll try to link it in the description. It's literally people that like look like they're half lion or like half whatever like they look animal and I'm like because usually you guys know that the music industry is like I don't want to say but it's kind of infiltrated and a lot of the time they foreshadow the future or at least what they want the future to be in music videos so all these three things just blew my mind I just I don't know I don't know anyways I just thought I'd share that with you guys the history of Lemuria and how it parallels to these times and let me know what you guys think. I'd love to know your thoughts. I also want to let you guys know that I have a TikTok uh, channel. It's doing pretty well. It's Danica dot 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 Walker. Sometimes I get shadow banned and I have to start over. But so far, so good. So I make the odd TikTok on there. So follow me on that if you want. And um, I'm going to start making videos again. I'm really excited to. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.